In our last episode, we visited Phillip Island and travelled to Melbourne to board the Spirit of Tasmania, which lands in Devonport. We drove directly to Launceston to visit with some friends, did some sightseeing, and then visited Launceston's famous Cataract Gorge. The South Esk River flows through Cataract Gorge, then into the River Tamar at Launceston. We're on our way to Cataract Gorge. So we've just hiked up to the lookout at Cataract Gorge. It's very pretty here. Check it out. So there's a suspension bridge down there. We'll go for a walk across that. Alexandra Suspension Bridge, built in 1904. Only 60 people. <laughs> Let's go on. Okay. Put my head on that. chairlift has a span between the posts of over 300 meters, the longest span in the world. Leaving the Cataract Gorge in Launceston, we went to the historic town of Evandale and then through Georgetown and Lowhead, where we went to the beach, Piper's Brook at a winery, went through Bridgeport, Ledgerwood, and then on our way to the Bay of Fires, where we first stayed at Swimcart Beach. Where are we? Evandale. Evandale, historic Just town. Went there for a beer? <laughs> James Boggs? Evandale is one of the best preserved historic towns in Tasmania. It sits on the banks of South Esk River and is 18 kilometres south of Launceston. What are we having? <laughs> Homemade muesli? With banana. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lowhead is situated where the Tamar River meets the Bass Strait on the north coast of Tasmania. This is the mouth of the Tamar River. Found a sand dune. A drive through the Tamar Valley isn't complete without visiting a local winery or two. Sure, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Get a door for you. Oh. oh, 
Here's where we need to go. Hey there. <laughs> Piper's Brooks Vineyard, and we're trying out some, uh, some yummy wines. <laughs> Starting with the sparkling. We love bubbles. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You, you too. too. Bye. People. Should we sit over here and drink it? <laughs> <laughs> Ledgerwood, and they've put these public toilets here and made it look like a train station. Check it out. <laughs> Barbecues are over here, they look like the train itself. How cool is that? It's even better, they've got these carvings over here. It's actually free camping. Check this out. Yeah. How awesome is that? That's what gives it the name Bay of Fires. It turns out the Bay of Fires got its name in 1773 from Captain Tobias Ferno, who saw the fires of Aboriginal people on the beach. there are four campgrounds that are all free. Join us next time as we make camp at Sloop Reef and continue to explore the beautiful Bay of Fires. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe. See you next time.